Oh, can I jump it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NG Drive. So, I'm back. You might remember that I announced kind of a break from YouTube for this month. Well, two days after I posted that video, the BMG devs released a fucking update. How timely. So here I am covering this update and in this video we're going to be checking out the remastered and facelifted Gavel Roma. And uh, if you'd like to see my coverage of the remastered map and the brand new water physics, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out. Anyways, back to the remastered Gavel Roma. So this car right here is the base model four-wheel drive version of the facelifted Gavel Roma. And I wanted to start with the purest configuration for this car. So you might notice some key differences, mainly the headlights, the bigger grille, and the taillights, which I'll show you in a second. But there are also some new bumpers and some new shit here and there. Also, the interior has been completely remodeled, so it's looking pretty nice. So let's head over to the back. And as you can see, it has some bigger taillights. Nothing too special here. As for the interior, well, it has received much needed love. It's got brand new textures, which are very high resolution. And in general, the 3D model of the interior is pretty nicely detailed. Anyways, with this being said, it's time to turn it on and start driving. So it drives like the old Gal Roma, basically. It feels a bit more planted and a bit heavy, actually. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. Obviously, it's a f***ing boat because being an American SUV, you'd expect that. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna go on this road, which is a bit bumpier than the other ones. That's one way to choose roads. And yeah, the braking is f***ing bad. But yeah, I, I really like this car. I've always loved the Gavel Roma. Also, I think they changed the logo placement. It's centered now, which looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Yeah, this, uh, this car is going to be mainly driven by Karens and soccer mums, but let's see if I can do some light off-roading with it. So yeah, off-roading is kind of doable. It's not that bad. Oh, can I jump it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Also, guys, we're very close to hitting 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty insane. And yeah. To celebrate, I'll be rebranding the channel, you know, as usual, <laughs> at this point. And I'm also going to be revealing my nationality, so if you've got some guesses on where I'm from, make sure to leave them in the comment section. But yeah, I'm a fan of this remaster. I quite like it. So, uh, let's talk deformation. So as you can kind of see here, the cars get much more wrecked in this brand new update. It's completely fucking smashed. This is not the best way to demonstrate it. So yeah, I'm gonna crash it again. So one notable thing, like, let me just move it. As I was saying, one notable thing is that the crash sounds seem to have been muted. They aren't so strong as they used to be, and I think it's kind of bad. They should fix this. But as for deformation, I've noticed some pretty massive improvements. So um, yeah, the way the geometry interacts with itself is pretty special in this update. I'm a fan of this. They've also added some brand new sound effects, both for crashing and driving. And I especially love the suspension noises and the chassis flex, which I'll try to demonstrate right now. So yeah, I'm a big fan of these sound effects. So after driving the base model, I think it's time to make an upgrade. So we're now in the LCX version, and this is supposed to be kind of the high variant of the Gravel Roma. And let's just say that this is a fucking behemoth. This car is fucking huge. It's gonna be like driving a boat. Anyways, let's start it and test it. So, in an American mind, this car here is the ideal car for going around the suburbs. You know, it's nice and nimble, you can easily fit through spaces, and this is somebody else's parking lot. And this is the perfect car to go around a nice quiet town, pick up your kids, and yeah, scream at fucking shop assistants. Wait a sec, is this bird shit? Because if it is, I mean, the attention to detail is fucking extreme. <laughs> I hope this is bullshit. Can somebody please confirm in the comments? Thank you guys. 
Anyways, back to driving this boat. And nothing to say really. It's pretty loud actually in the interior. It's getting some speed now that we're going downhill. Oh fuck. That's a wheel lost. That's another wheel lost. My door has basically reversed itself. Let's check it out from the outside. Well, this is a nice crash. Does it still drive? It kind of moves. You won't be able to steer it though. So yeah, I gotta say, I'm quite a fan of this high deformation. Kind of looks odd from the back though. So this is supposed to be an interesting one. This is the Sports RS version, I think it's called. Wait, let, me, let me check. Yeah, I was completely fucking wrong. It's the LTX Sport RS. I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm just gonna write it on the screen. Anyways, this is supposed to be the racy version. It's not racy. I mean, it's basically your RSQ8. Yeah. So apparently it's made out of fiberglass, but it still weighs 2.2 tons. Definitely not lightweight. Anyways, I'm gonna turn it on. By the way, I fucking hate this red interior, but that's just my opinion. Let's see if this thing actually pulls or not. Though it's fast, it's not scary fast, but it's okay. Let's see how it corners. So there's ABS, which is appreciated. And oh, nearly fucking died there. Uh, what the fuck? So I wanted to go over there, so I'm gonna try to do a nice skid. I'm not too bad. Drift's kind of fine, actually. I was not expecting this. This is actually pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed. Gosh, I hate this red interior. Fuck. But yeah, I forgot it was 4.8 meters long. Yeah, that's damaged pretty badly. Not sure about that spike there. Yeah, this handles better than some dedicated drift cars in the game. <clears throat> 200 BX. Look at it go! What the fuck? I love this. And as usual, as soon as I congratulate the car, it fucking rams me in a tree. And finally, it's time to go off-road. So instead of using the off-road variant, I decided to use the V10 version of the Gravel Roma. This was kind of a weird decision, I know. So let's turn it on and let's see how it sounds. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. How does it drive though? Love these questions. I mean, I've, holy shit, this is fast. And as I was trying to say, I keep saying the same shit. Is it getting old, guys? Hope it isn't. Now, this is quicker than the dedicated sport version. What the f what the shit? Look at the fucking deformation. <laughs> I'm like a fucking kid. I'm generally getting excited for this shit. And oh, this is cool. This is fucking cool. I don't care what you guys say. Anyways, we're trying to figure out if this V10 version is a nice off-roader or not. Well, it is nice. I mean... So, I can't seem to find an off-road path. So... Oh yeah, here it is. Anyways, I wanted to plug my... Yeah, it's not an off-road path. It's a fucking lake. That mission failed. So, yeah, I wanted to plug my... Are you fucking kidding? So we finally found a place to go off-road. Nice. Anyways, I wanted to plug my Discord server. So, make sure to join it. And the off-road has finished. So, as I was saying, the Discord server. If you want to stay up to date, if you want to chat with me and other fellow subscribers, make sure to join it. The link is in the description down below. Anyways, this was the remastered Gavel Roma. Oh. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and if you did, smash like, subscribe, and yeah, I guess I'll see you soon with the rest of this update.